Cal State Long Beach. It's part of Cal State Long Beach. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Please, please, please make sure that I have that date so we can come down. Do I have your card? I'm going to give it to you right now. Yeah. And we're live. And once again, we are live, everybody, here, <laughs> Miss Bridget Lewis of Coffee Talk Jazz Magazine. I'm here with my very special guest, Mr. Greg Young, and we're going to talk about the Second Street Band. How you doing, Greg? Very, very well. It's a pleasure to be here at NAM. I've got to see a lot of my sponsors and uh, yourself, which is really charming, wonderful, and lovely. Thank you. We're here, and we're going to be talking about music education, something I am so and passionate about and Greg was just sharing a little bit of information with me about an upcoming event uh, on March the 23rd down in the Long Beach area so he's going to share with our fans just a little bit more about that event. It's an educational outreach for the Carpenter Performing Arts Center at Cal State Long Beach and on the 23rd, 24th, 25th and 26th we'll be going to three to four Long Beach Unified Schools a day and uh, giving a presentation and then all the kids will be bussed in on the 27th for a concert at the Carpenter Center. Well I gotta ask you, well all the musical knowledge that I'm hearing, when did you first fall in love with music? I was a little kid and uh, it, I was born with it. It's just been there and it just keeps flowering and growing and uh, it's like fine wine. As I get older it gets better and better and better and it's smoother and it's just more lovely to play every day. Now, I know that you are so well traveled and you played with the best of the best, uh, Joey Navarro, a mutual friend of ours. So, I want to ask you this What has been your favorite ports of call? Your, your passport has been stamped many times. What is your favorite ports of call? Well, for the last 12 years, I have to share this. Uh, I'm the music director at a place in Hollywood called the Dome Arclight Entertainment Center. And we're there every Friday and Saturday, May through September. And then we're there for a Thanksgiving run and then for a Christmas through New Year's Day run. And that being the favorite ports of call because it has been the most wonderful experience. It's an industry hang. George Duke used to come by. Babyface has been by. All the actors, all the people from Hollywood come by. And the players that, get to, that I get to work with are some of the best of the best. From Joey Navarro, Brandon Fields, Dr. Bobby Rodriguez on trumpet, Ming Freeman from Yanni's band on keyboards, Kirkwood Coakley on bass, T. Coakley on keyboards from the Bahamas, uh, managed by Bob Marley's manager originally. Uh, the list is endless. And then Tiki Pasillas from Mark Anthony's band. He's on all my records. Percussionist wow. Jorge Bermudez went to the Olympics with Santana, another percussionist that works with us all the time. It's just, it's phenomenal. And it, it is such a pleasure to be there with playing with, with these guys that just take me to another level. So i got to ask you this, with all this wonderful musical knowledge, and you have so many great friends uh, nationally and internationally, is there one particular uh, period of music that speaks to you? I know that's a tough one, right? <laughs> that is. That's, uh, I would have to say that uh, being I'm considered a multi-genre award-winning artist. And so with all the different genres, in the last eight years, I've been nominated in seven genres. And so, thank thank you so much. I've won Smooth Jazz Artist of the Year. I've won Best Blues. I've won Best Funk Groove. Been nominated Best Pop, Best Latin. Been nominated Best Jazz. Been uh, nominated. Oh, most recently it was Americana because it was powered by acoustic guitars. Americana slash folk slash acoustic. So, music is a, a beautiful most intense wonderful language it's shared internationally everywhere and so to be just a part of that family is a blessing and I am so thankful for that I just love it how music really bridges a divide between uh, generations and cultures and uh, and colors but what I want to focus on right now is I want to find out like what's next for you I mean it seems like you've you've done so much but it seems like you're just really getting out there yeah. In fact, well, one of the fun things we just found out, Pandora, for an example, didn't know until they put out the, uh, the analytics. We are being listened to by 137,000 folks, all in urban centers, mainly women between 18 and 34, wow. which blew my mind totally. And it starts in Los Angeles, goes to New York, Chicago, Atlanta, San Francisco, Seattle, uh, for some reason not in any rural area, but I'm very, I've, I've, I'm an urban kind of guy. So I, I, I love that. <laughs> and that it's women that are primarily listening to us. I, I, I'm, I had no idea. Completely in the, had 
clueless. And now we know, and that's that's fantastic. Well, I can see that. Well, the last question I want to ask you is, with everything you've done, do you have a music motto? Is there a music motto? Yeah, actually, yes. Bringing music to the world one note at a time. There you have it here, fans. You heard it here first. Bus bringing music one note at a time with my friend Greg here at the Deering Banjo booth. I'm your girl, Miss Bridget Lewis, on the mic at NAM 2015. Thanks.